Okay, to counter the aerial menace of Mark Tatley. They continue with Mark McNally and Mike Galloway. There's Andy Payton, who's enjoying his best spell since joining the club last August. He's scored seven goals in his last six games, taking his total for the season so far to 14. He should prove a real threat to Rangers this afternoon. Rangers start without flu victim Ali McCoyst, who's on the bench. He could lose his record of scoring in every season against Celtic since joining Rangers in 1983. So a great scoring burden in an already demanding season falls on the shoulders of Mark Cately. He scored three league goals against Celtic last season, two of them here at Parkhead. The referee is Douglas Hawke from Erskine. So it's Rangers who get the match underway in front of this huge crowd. And although there's not a lot at stake in terms of the championship, it is nonetheless an important afternoon for both clubs. Rangers going for 45 not out, and Celtic keen to end that record. So right away it's Galloway climbing above Hatley. It's picked up by McStay. Through for McAvenny. First touch to Collins. Cross comes Nisbet. Collins keeps the ball in play. This is Dubcek. Payton. Still Payton twisting and turning. Claims for a penalty. The referee does not react. And the ball still very much in play. The referee waving play on. This is McCall who is wearing the number nine jersey this afternoon. Battling away with Boyd. A determined start by Celtic, as you would expect. But the offside flag has gone up. And it's a free kick to Rangers. Well, Andy Payton making a point in the direction of the referee. But a very determined start by Celtic. Well, it was John Collins breaking on the left side of the field, being shadowed all the way by Nisbet. And uh, Celtic claiming a penalty kick as John Brown made the challenge. Peyton twisting and turning there, McAvenny was in there as well. The Rangers having to adjust again without uh, the skipper, Richard Goff, this afternoon. But uh, David Robertson back after missing the midweek tie. This is McAvenny. Well, of course, he's played in Old Firm games before. Now it's Slater. And the ball wide of target. So Stuart Slater, who has uh, one goal so far this season, cutting in and sending in the shot past Andy Gorham's right-hand post. Never troubled the keeper. It's Nisbet sending it forward, looking for Hagen. It's headed away by Dubcek. This is McStay. Murray steps in for Rangers. And he wins a free kick. Conceded by McStay. You can see Stuart McCall wearing bicycle shots. He's been toiling against injury. He's hardly managed to train recently. He's played in now for Haitley. And Bonner struggling right across his line. Haitley again showing what a dangerous player he can be. 24 goals he's got so far this season. The high one coming in there. He climbed above McNally, and Bonner struggling to get across his line. Just as well, that wasn't on target. Uh, Pat Bonner playing his 33rd game of the season since winning back his place last September. So it's Collins stepping in for Celtic. Playing it to Dubcek. Collins again. This is Grant, and it's Brown clearing, only as far as McStay. Dobchek, that's a good ball to Collins, first time shot, and an amazing miss by Payton. Well, it was a delightful ball initially by Darius Dobchek, he clipped it over Nisbet and Stephen, right into the path of Collins, he turned and hit the first time ball across goal. It looked a certain goal for Peyton, but he sent it right across 
and beyond Durham's right hand post. This is Collins. Play through by Dubchek, another awkward ball for McPherson. It's won by Collins. Peyton's in there battling for it. Peyton does well. This is Collins. It's blocked by Nisbet. And Nisbet happy to concede the throw in. Collins to McIverney. Down he goes, and that's a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. It was Nisbet who made the challenge, so a dangerous moment coming up for Rangers. Celtic pushing just about everyone forward as Andy Gorham gets things organised. Hatley has gone back into the penalty area to mark Galloway. And uh, Dubchek covering. It was dangerous in this type of situation. It's driven low by Slater. He gets a second bite at it. And it was Darius Dovchek who got in the shot. And it was well handled by Andy Gorham. But as I was saying there, a few seconds earlier, Dovchek hovering in the edge of the area. He packed a terrific shot. It was left to him by Collins. This is Durant to McCall. Well, Robertson was on the ground, but uh, he's recovered. Meanwhile, Rangers get a free kick as McCall was fouled. Play through now to John Brown. Still Brown, and well taken by Pat Bonner. Well, terrific break forward by John Brown in very determined fashion. And he brought out the best in Pat Bonner. Nice skills by Brown as he got away from McNally. And Bonner at full stretch. says Dovchek well, a slight pass in the direction of Collins but Galloway moves in now for Celtic played off by Collins to Dovchek good ball again by Dovchek this is Collins Gorham's committed himself that's brilliant goalkeeping by Andy Gorham well terrific confidence from the goalkeeper it was a superb ball through from Dovchek and Gorham bravely coming off his line making the decision and that was an excellent save. This is Hatley to Robertson. Headed away by Boyd. That's McStay. McStay running into trouble, but he retrieves the situation. But uh, at the expense of a throw-in. Uh, Walter Smith. Yep. At the dugout, he's down early today. McCall trying to battle his way through it, breaks out now to Robertson. Now a chance for Celtic to break, it's Slater playing it through, it's missed by Brown, it's Peyton, he's got McAvenny racing through the middle, it's two against two here, it's still it's Peyton taking on McPherson, and that was well left by Scott Nisbet. He might easily have run the ball into his own goal, but McAvenny is absolutely disgusted here. He was running through the middle. Peyton sent the ball across. Nisbet jumped over it. But McAvenny was looking for the cutback. He had drifted off his marker. And he looked quite disgusted there. And then away by McNally. This is Grant to Dubchek. Clear by McPherson to McCall. Murray to Stephen. Better play this by Rangers. Long one for Hagen. He holds off the challenge of Galloway. Flipped forward by Trevor Stephen. Good play by Hagen. Stepping away from Dubchek. And that's McNally coming across. But it's Trevor Stephen. It's headed away by Galloway. Well, it's Rangers now picking up the pace of this match. This is Stuart McCall. Trevor Stephen. Hatley's on the far side, that ball takes a deflection. This is Ian Durant. Hatley climbing for it, it's Durant again! And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. The challenge going in from Galloway, who did just enough to put Durant off. It was 
Trevor Stephen who sent it across, Durant was right in the thick of the action, it was him dead at Hitley, he got the touch back to Durant and Galloway did just enough to halt the Rangers players' progress. So the substitution about to take place, Scott Lisbeth limping off, and Ali McCoy, the man coming on. So Murray is going to the right back situation. And on comes Ali McCoy. Well, now he has a chance to keep that special record going. He scored in every season against Celtic. This is Boyd. Well, it runs away from McAvenny. And the Celtic midfield failing there to get the support of the strikers. This is Slater playing it to Boyd. McAvenny is challenged by Brown. It's won by McStay. Through for Collins. Good play by Collins. That's a wonderful goal by John Collins. 47 minutes gone. And John Collins gets his seventh goal of the season. It was a wonderful strike. And it was initially set up by Paul McStay. McStay won the ball. He sent it through to Collins, he stepped inside, Murray opened up the gap for himself and gave Gorham no chance right in at the post. So the Celtic fans in full cry. Well, it's a year ago this weekend since Celtic last defeated Rangers. It was the 21st of March last year. Here comes Celtic again, it's McStay playing it through for McAvenny. And they get in the head of Murray to get in the shot on Gorham. McAvenny first time and uh, putting Gorham under a bit of pressure. Played through by McCall. This is Durant, McPherson. Bill McPherson is challenged by Darius Dubcek and that's a throw to Rangers. Murray plays it to Trevor Stephen. This is Durant. And that's Celtic on the break. The final seconds ticking away here in this first half. Well, if Celtic could get another one, there would be joyous scenes at the half-time whistle. This is Slater. Well, claims for handball against David Robertson as we move into injury time. This is Haitley. Powerful run by Hageley, trying to find McCoy, it's cut out though by McNally. And there goes the half-time whistle. And there's the man who put Celtic ahead after 37 minutes, John Collins. It was Paul McSay who won the ball, he got it through to Collins, he stepped inside Murray and he found the corner of the net. The half-time score here at Parkhead, Celtic 1, Rangers 0. So Celtic get the second half underway. And the fans have been in fine form all during the interval. Here come Rangers, it's Ali McCoy. In comes Durant. This is Trevor Stephen. And it's well blocked by Bonner. So Rangers going for the jugular right from the start here. And this is the last place that Rangers will want to lose their unbeaten run. But uh, McCoy breaking through, and the ball was nipped away from him by Boyd. Dubcek failed to get it away, and uh, Trevor Stevens sent in the shot, which was well blocked by Pat Bonner. Here come Rangers again. This is Trevor Stephen. That's Hitley! And that's a corner kick, conceded by Tom Boyd. Trevor Stephen sent it in and uh, Hitley challenging, but Boyd did extremely well under a lot of pressure. This is McCall, well, Rangers well fired up at the moment. Seems to have been a good open game. 
Just the one booking so far to John Brown in the early stages. So Andy Ruxborough, the Scotland coach, is here this afternoon, casting an eye over a number of players who will be taking part in the friendly against Germany in midweek. The Rangers have made a good start to the second half. But it's Celtic in the driving seat. It's really amazing how players can raise their game for matches such as this. After so many ordinary performances, and here comes Celtic again. It's Peyton playing it through. A chance on here for Collins, but it was Murray, Neil Murray, who made the challenge. Laid off now by Slater. This is Boyd. And the ball coming off the top of the crossbar from Andy Peyton. So more roars from the Celtic fans. Peyton climbing above Brown. Gorham was absolutely stranded. Nice turn by Trevor Stephen. He's showing a lot of appetite for the game in the second half. Here he is again. And the foul by McState. And McStay clearly unhappy with the decision. But a free kick to Rangers it is. Durant plays it short to Brown. And that could put uh, Rangers under a bit of pressure here. It really was a very ambitious attempt at goal by John Brown. This is Slater setting it through. That's a good ball for Andy Payton. He's in behind the defender. Still Payton. It's Murray getting in the challenge. McCall's in there now as well. He's under pressure from Paul McStay. John Collins, in fact. This is McStay. Payton, and McPherson going in there, and a good tackle to concede the corner kick for Celtic, who are lifting the pace again. It was Payton charging in on goal, and McPherson matching him all the way. Good defending there by McPherson, sending the ball behind for the corner. Collins sending it in. Gorham's missed it, and Peyton has scored! An incredible goal for Celtic! 52 minutes gone, and it's Celtic 2, Rangers 0, and Andy Peyton gets his 15th goal of the season. Well, the corner kick to the cross from Collins, Andy Gorham was written to his line, and there was Peyton to send it into the roof of the net. That's Hagen playing it forward, looking for Hadley. It's away by Peter Grant. And the free kick goes Celtic's way. Uh, Andy Payton requiring some treatment. And there's some blood there. He might have to leave the field unless Brian Scott can get this sorted out quickly. And Celtic fans enjoying themselves. As uh, the match restarts, well, he really needs a bit of cleaning up, does uh, Peyton. The ball hits off the back of his head there. And really, under FIFA and UEFA rules, blood has to be removed completely. But here's McAvenny, blocked there by Gorham. That was a magnificent save by Andy Gorham. And now he's taken a knock. It was McAvenny stepping inside McPherson, and from point blank range. Andy Gorham did well. It's played out to McCall. And he's taken out of the play now by Collins. And McCall saying he wanted the advantage there, but uh, the referee awarding the free kick. McPherson has moved forward to join Hatley. It's McPherson with the header, and that's good handling again by Pat Bonner. Well, McPherson did extremely well. 
uh, as the free kick was played in. He made a good contact with it and it was spinning away into the corner. And Bonner did extremely well. Good handling. And it's McPherson playing it to Murray, who found himself a bit of space. Dubchick's coming to meet him. Trevor Stephen. This is Ali McCoist. <laughs> well, McCoist looking out of shots, suffering from the flu, but a nice little turn by him here. This is Slater. Playing it through to Collins. Collins going in the outside of Murray. Good play by Collins. But uh, that one easily handled by Andy Gorham. Heathley gets a second bite at it, but he's challenged by Grant. Play on to the referee. This is Dubchik. And challenged by McCall, and that's Celtic throw. Heathley for Rangers to Mikhailachenko. Heathley again. Here's Gary Steve. Oh, a marvellous goal by Heathley! <laughs> 84 minutes gone, and Heathley brings Rangers back into the game. Well, it was superb play by Alexa Mikhailachenko. Rangers players running in all directions. He slipped the simple one through to Heathley, and that's a finishing of the highest order. And Hitley gets his 25th goal of the season. It's McNally's head. He's done well in there today, McNally. He's got the tallest of defenders. This is Hitley! And it cinches away with Ali McCoy racing in on the far side. Well, Hitley right through and goal. Aquais was racing in, if he'd just get a bit more of an angle on it, mind you, maybe Galloway would have cleared. Again, the ball's taken for a walk in towards the corner flag. And it's all over. And delight among the Celtic fans, warm handshakes there between Walter Smith and Liam Brady. And Liam Brady gets his first win over Rangers at Parkhead. There's Collins, the man who scored for Celtic after 37 minutes. It was brilliant play as he stepped inside and unleashed an unstoppable shot pass, Andy Gorham. Then Andy Payton early in the second half. As a corner kick commit from Collins, there was Payton to finish it off. And Mark Hayfley pulled one back for Rangers.